Crazy. G'day guys, today we're going to be painting up a Pummel Root Elementals for the um, Magic the Gathering uh, Arena of the Planeswalkers board game. So I thought I'd just do a bit of a tutorial on how I do it. And um, yeah, alright, so we're going to get started. Okay, so this is what we're going for. This is this is how we're going to paint it. Um, as you can see, he's got a bit of moss on the back there. He's got stones in his hands there. Um, here's one I painted uh, about a year or so ago. And as you can see, he's just all he's just all timber. He doesn't have the stone hands. He doesn't have the moss on him, but he still looks good. He still looks all right. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with, we're going to get the fists happening, we're going to get the stone on the fists here, and um, work from there. So we'll get the stone, stone cutter on the fists, then we'll do the moss, and then we'll, we'll give it a bit of a wash. So on the fists, we're going to use this colour here, which is Dawnstone by Citadel. So let's get it started. Now I've got a, um, a wet palette here, which I've just made myself. Bit of baking paper on a you know takeaway food container lid with a chucks cloth underneath with a bit of water on it just keeps the water coming through um keeps the paint a bit more moist um longer so a bit of water on there get a bit of paint happening make sure you always give it a good shake which we've done just before Alright, now this is a bit tricky guys because I'm trying to keep it in the camera for you as well as be able to see so apologies if my hands get in the way but it is a little bit tricky. You get in all those gaps, Oop, there's a little bit out of camera for you. So just get it on there like that. Get right up in the gaps like that. You know, we're going to touch this up as we go. You know, we'll use the brown and go back around it. We just want to get it on nice and smooth. We've watered down the paint a little bit, just a dab of water in there. And just putting it on nice and smoothly. We don't want to put it on too thick, otherwise we're going to end up with all sorts of splodgy bits and dried up, caked up bits of paint. Alright, so we just want to slowly work around like this, getting paint into all those spots that we need to get it into. And how far up his arm do we go? It's hard to tell. It's very hard to tell. Alright. There's that one sort of one fist done there. We get the other fist there. Alright, I'm gonna get the rest of this fist painted and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at the next colour. Alright guys. Back. I finished the grey. Painting on camera is a lot harder than I thought it would be, but anyways, not much we can do there. So we've got the grey happening, we'll get the green out now, and we'll have a crack at the green, and we'll put the moss on, and then we'll, um, we'll have a look and see what that's like. Okay, we're going to go to the green. We've got two types of green here. Um, I'm not sure which one to use, I think I'm going to go with the lighter green. Which is the moot green, and we've got the warpstone glow as well. The moot green is quite looks quite bright, but once I put it on there and then wash it, it's gonna change the green. It's gonna be a bit darker. And then we can highlight back with the maybe this one or you know it's moss, so moss is quite quite green anyway. So I think we'll go with the moot green, and um, yeah, we'll just see what it looks like. And if we want to change it, we'll just go over with the warpstone glow. 
All right, make sure you give him a good shake. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Picking out the green is going to be a bit tricky because we um got a lot of brown there. But what we'll do, we'll just turn around and we'll start with the back, I think. You see those really raised bits like here? We're just going to, that's obviously going to be moss. Now going over brown, going to be a little bit tricky. But um, like I said, when it when it gets washed, it'll tone it down. Doesn't matter if we have a little bit showing through, because it's just going to, you know, it's it's timber underneath, so that's that's going to be fine. All right, we just got to make sure we pick the right spots, and then we should be okay. All right, so let's just get a bit on here as well. Like that. Alright, get it on there nice and evenly. Takes you two days, then you know, so be it. That's what I see anyway. I'm not gonna rush it and let it look poo just take it easy get the paint on there all right so i'm just gonna finish these two up and we'll come back and have a look and we'll start with the wash all right guys so i've got the green on there that's what it looks like so it looks all right i mean we've got the lots of green on the back down his leg in both legs and a bit on the rump there so we're just going to wash it get that wash on there and start getting getting the wash into all those crevices and uh tone it up make some definition um <clears throat> here's the other one that was already done chucked a bit of green on there just a almost like a bit of a dry brush just whacked it on there just nice and softly and um that's how that one looks at the moment this one obviously is going to be sort of a different method because it's already mostly painted. So that looks alright, that looks alright. We've got a few different shades. We've got a Nullin Oil which is quite dark but I think we're going to go with the Agrax, Agrax Earth Shade. Another Citadel. Most of my paints I've got a Citadel, either Citadel or Vallejo. Um, you can use whatever paints you like. Doesn't matter. They're all very similar. I've even got, you know, $2 tubes of paint from the local craft store so all right so let's get this wash on there now the the key to, to doing a, a bit of a wash is you don't want to just slap it on and let it go everywhere you kind of want to brush it around and push it into the gaps so it is it can be a little bit tricky but you just get it on there like this but then just start filtering it towards the gaps like that as you can see there brush it down get it in the gaps like that as you can see it's toning down that moss color a little bit so and you can see it falling into all the crevices there Don't be um, too shy with it. You can always soak it up. You can always soak it up and let it um, get it out of the spots that you don't want it. So don't be too worried about where you're getting it. So what you want to do is you want to just make sure you cover the whole thing kind of evenly. Otherwise, if you end up with a spot that you didn't get, it's going to look a bit odd. It's going to look a lot lighter than the rest of it. And then you're going to have to go in and, and try to touch it up. And then it might look a bit different. But hey, look, like I said, doesn't matter much. It's going to be on the table being used. So, that is the key. Just to get it painted, get it looking alright. Don't need to win any competitions. 
So you can see it pulls in certain spots, you can just dab it like that and it, and it picks it up and then happy days alright make sure you get in every spot you can All right, and as you can see that's looking a bit better there now okay I'm gonna go get some wash on the other one while I let that dry and then we'll come back and have a look alright guys so the wash is finished drying now as you can see look it's looking pretty good so what we're going to do now is we're just going to get back to the fist and we're just going to remake that with the grey make it a bit um so you can see on the fist here if i can show you this can you see that area there see it like it looks like there's a big indentation so what you can probably do if you like is just um maybe not get that big indent just go around it like that if you can see what I'm doing here and that might be a bit um, you know shows up the big dent in the in the rock alright now we don't you don't have to put this on too thick you just want to highlight it so that you can see that it's stone you know this is going to dry so you can water it down a bit so it goes on nice and thin and that way it'll dry and then you can slowly build up the layers to the to the greyness that you want it if you put it on too thick it's a lot harder to to make it light again all right so there we go and then we'll just start picking out all the bits of grey right in there just dab it we can touch up when we go over with the brown you know if you want anything to be a darker grey you can just sort of put one thin coat on and then get a couple of put, put a few more coats on for the the highlighted areas that you want to be a bit lighter it's very tricky doing a, a tutorial because I usually just get stuck in there and, and just do it now I'm sort of trying to explain what I'm doing it, um, it's quite tricky definitely a lot more respect for people that do these on YouTube all the time alright okay so that's how we're going to work it so I'm going to get all the grey done on these lads and then we'll come back and have a crack we'll have a look we'll have a look at what it looks like and um, then we'll move on to the next colour okay alright guys I finished the grey as you can see there is his fist you know, in the little gaps that I could it's not as um, not as easy as it looks but um, you just got to go with it right so let's get stuck into the brown now we're going to take the uh, same colour we used for the base coat which was the um, Beastie Brown from Vallejo which is a game air because I, I, I sprayed it on with the uh, airbrush so if you can hear noise in the background guys the kids run around like psychos Beastie Brown Vallejo game air but you can use it with a brush anyway so that's what we're going to do so let's just take a little bit of that pop it out here like that and then we're just gonna take the um, highlighted areas or, or raised areas like this and we're just gonna just pop some brown on like that this part takes quite a while so we're just going to go around and sort of re-highlight all the areas, the raised areas that we want to to um, pop or stand out a little bit like that. Now this is going to dry and it's going to be a bit darker, so it's it's not going to be you know as drastic as it looks when you put it on. Um, so. Just remember that. Don't be thinking, oh no, I've got to darken it up. 
because when you darken it up and then it dries it's going to be too dark okay okay guys we just got a slightly lighter brown and we're just doing the same thing again and what we just want to touch on these higher areas like this just like that top of his head just a tad bit lighter on some of the higher bits maybe his fist here and then we just do that as well okay okay there we go there's the brown done so the the lightest brown color I did was the ironed and dark sun and the beastie brown I just mixed it and kept making it darker and darker until it hit the color I wanted so it is a bit tricky um, I just had to wing it there and just sort of keep darkening it and darkening it until I got what I wanted so yeah you live and learn you know you just got to do things on the fly so there you go there that's what they're looking like now now we'll just hit that green and then we'll be pretty much done that'll be the end and then I'll... okay so onto the green I've got some um, moot green moot green and a bit of the uh, warpstone glow and I've just mixed them together on the palette there as you can see just there and um, I'm just gonna hit the areas with that just nice and nice and softly. I don't know if you can see there. Don't know if it's making much difference, but there we go. Just selecting certain areas to to highlight, just like that. And then we can just build it up as we go. You can see some of these darker spots. We just maybe tap there, a little bit there, a little bit there. Just the just the tops of all the mossy bits. We just want to create that sort of effect where the sun is shining right on the top of the mossy bits. Like that. It's a bit tricky, I know. But there we go. Always keep that nice point on your brush. And move over here. A little bit like that. And there maybe there like that okay let me bring up those darker spots like that ones that are dulled down a bit we can just highlight them leaving the lower bits nice and dark creating that sort of three tone effect with the the low areas being really dark, the high areas being the lightest, and then the middle areas being that sort of dirty moss colour. Okay. And then that is basically all we have to do with the green. This bit here on the front, you know, obviously the sun's going to be coming down, so probably just get that bit there like that, and maybe a little bit there. And we'll probably leave that like that. Now this is watered down quite a bit. Um, it's nice and thin, so that when it dries, it doesn't create too much of a a colouring there. It's just increasing the tone a bit. It's hard to describe until you sort of start playing with playing with paint yourself. But um, yeah, so and that's how we do it. All right, so I'm going to continue on and um, get the rest of the miniature done as well as the other one and then we'll come back and have a look okay and that's what we're going to do so here we have the final piece all the green done all the green done and whatnot they're looking all right okay very nice very nice indeed 
Okay, so that's how we paint in the tree dudes. This is the original one I did a while back, maybe a year ago. And um I've done the green only the green and I've done the the grey. Other than that everything else was already done. Okay. Come on, crazy.